This video shows how to change the color of a data grid in WPF or in XAML or in a Universal Windows platform app in Windows. So what we see here is that's a typical um, data grid in WPF. And as you see, there's the selected uh, color changed. So normally you have by default, you have here a data grid. And uh, when you want to change the color, then you have to set inside the data grid. That's the data grid where there's the closing tag. You have to insert a data grid row style. So this is the entire background of that row. And you have also to uh, insert a data grid cell style, which is uh, inside the cells. So if you have this one, for example, or let's say first, when we take this one, the data grid, and I uh, start it by default, then you have this uh, selection and you see the default selector is uh, deep blue and uh, when you want to change this and when you leave the field you will see that the cursor goes away and this uh, the cursor uh, starts to be gray so we stop that stuff the code and then we go inside our data grid there's the data grid block <coughs> and then we say inside there data grid style uh, row style like this one row style you see this it's uh, uh, intelligence and then you go um, data grid row style what's what's wrong no it should be the same um, compile it and then the error goes away and then we say style target st target type the target type has always be uh, here the same one of if you have the row style then you have to select the data grid row and then uh, and the same is here for cell style you have to say <coughs> data grid cell and then uh, the trigger has to be it triggers it triggers the trigger property is selected. So when you, when the event goes there and says the property is selected, then you set the back background to blue. And you will find that code on my website here on my code docu. There's the code. You may embed that code into your own application. And then it should work like this. So we start it again. And as you see there, now we have the selected column, uh, selected color, and normally we set both to blue. That's the right one. And now you see, as soon as when I take off my the cursor on there, then the selection should still uh, stay in that field. <coughs> 